Hey guys, Bryce Tubbs here. Today I'm just going to be talking about what is the different process that we can be using in order to go and grow our business, okay? So, one thing a lot of people don't understand is you don't necessarily need more leads in order to get more clients. What you do need to do is you need to be really, really, really proficient at converting someone who just found out you exist to being a paid client. Let me just raise my, my uh, camera up a little bit higher so you can see me just a little bit better, okay? So, where a lot of people struggle is the only thing they really think about is find and then cash, right? They think you just find this like six figure, seven figure, eight figure business owner. They, um, you know, like you a lot and they just give you cash, right? Now, what you're leaving on the table is you're leaving a lot of different leads, opportunity, money, clients, potential clients, referrals on the table. Now, when you really understand how to do this, now you're gonna be able to start growing your business a lot faster with a lot less leads, a lot less energy, and you'll be able to charge a higher price point, okay? So, number one, okay, you get to find, okay? Now, finding's a little bit different. Whenever most people think about finding, they think about just finding someone who has a problem, okay? That is good, but that's only gonna be about 3% of the entire market. Now, 3% of the entire market, that's, that's a very large number, right? There's 23.5 million business owners alone in the United States on LinkedIn, right? That's a, that's a really large chunk, yes. 20, we'll say 23,500 times 0.03. That's about 705,000 people per day, uh, yeah. Right, at any given time, are looking for accounting or bookkeeping services, right? Now, for most people, it's not you know um, cost effective to go after a hundred or seven hundred five thousand people, right? However, for us, when you know how to charge the right price for your you know either bookkeeping service or CFO service, you're able to be able to um, get about ten to fifteen clients and still be at your ten k to twenty k per month number, right? So we don't need quite that many. What we're really looking for is about two thousand people to about 2,000 to 3,000 people sorry no dollar sign right 2,000 to 3,000 people that, that's really what we're shooting for this this is our number this is our number okay now next thing you have to do is you have to go and collect contact info right that's their LinkedIn profile, their phone number, their email. You gotta get a list. Everything with everything with like marketing is all about lists. Lists of people. Right? If you can have a marketing list of about, you know, 20,000, 30,000 people and your service is really good, you're never going to go hungry again. Okay? This I cannot stress this enough. If, when it comes to longevity equals longevity longevity, security, and freedom. We'll say freedom and scale. Now, the reason why, okay, is because one, longevity, as long as you have more more people that you can talk to, if you can get the, rem the rest and the remainder of this, then you're gonna have longevity, right? Because you can just keep repeating this process year after year, month after month, decade after decade. And that's how, you know, a lot of, a lot of old time accountants and bookkeepers, like they only did this for one cycle and they got to, you know, 200, $300,000, $400,000 a year. But for someone like yourself, if you want to go in and really grow those numbers, you don't have to do it in one year increments. You can do it slowly over time. Again, because we want to have longevity. We want to make sure we can keep repeating this process. So if there's ever like a recession, ever some kind of market change, you can rebuild this thing as quickly as possible. Now, that's longevity, okay? Security. Same thing, security. The more you have, the easier it is to keep making more freedom. Okay, you don't really care if someone does not want to work with you because you have so many more leads. You do not really care if someone is kind of being a jerk because you're like, I have so many more leads, I don't need you, I don't even want you, get off of the phone. Next thing, scale, okay? You can always just go and grow this thing even faster if you have a good relationship with the rest of these, right? Because then you can just open the floodgates a little bit faster and take on more people and have more opportunity and have more, um, more spots open up whenever you feel like it. That's going to allow you to be able to have a little bit of, number one is scarcity. 
Number two is urgency. Okay, scarcity is about a number of units. That just means that how many spots or how many clients can you take on? Like, right, if you if you have 100 people who want to use your service, but you only have 20 spots, you can only take on 20%. Now, what that does is it gets the, out of the 100 people, 20 of them are going to be like, hey, I want to get in right now. Now, it also has urgency. Urgency is more of a unit in time, okay? That's how long do they have before the 20 spots fill up. And the more they know there's 20 spots, there's 18 spots left, there's 19 spots left, there's zero spots left, the more they're going to want to pay you even the next time around when this first round closes. Okay, so that's all about collecting. Next thing is about connecting. Now, connecting actually has a really interesting set of challenges, right? The, the challenge when it comes to connecting is knowing what to say. Knowing what to say, what to do after contact. Okay, this is one of the main things I help my students with inside my mentorship program. It's what to do after contact. So after you've already spoken to the person, like, like, what is the process to be able to get them from just some random person who might have expressed they had a problem to getting them on the phone, to not only getting them on the phone, but getting them to the phone in the right mind state, the right um, understanding of your service, seeing the value, seeing the need, also respecting you, respecting your time. And then being able to, you know, close them really easily within one to two phone calls. I generally like to close within one phone call. It's just my style. Some people like closing with two. It just really depends on you and your specific style, okay? Now, this is, this is the most important part that a lot of people don't really understand. This is the most important part when it comes to getting the clients, okay? Because how you go and connect is going to determine how you collect, okay? Cool. <clears throat> Next thing is about follow-up. Uh, Six-minute video. Yeah, generally one thing I forgot is I give message scripts in the program. That way you know exactly what to say and like also when to say it plus when to say. All right, that is no confusion. Next thing is following up, okay? Because not everybody's going to be ready on day one. Some people need to be warming up, right? Warm them up. Okay, a lot of people need to be warmed up. Like, not everyone's gonna trust you. Not everyone's gonna trust you. Trust. Right? Trust is very important, okay? The longer this warm up process takes, the longer this takes, the longer they stay. Okay, so this is a very kind of weird um, phenomenon that happens in business to business sales. Okay, oftentimes the ones that take the longest, they don't take the longest because they're being disrespectful or because they don't like you. They're taking the longest because they have the most switching costs. Now, a switching cost means it costs time, it costs energy, it costs money, it costs people to switch from one accountant or bookkeeper to the next. Right, they have to do passwords, they have to get the data back from them, they have to kick the old bookkeeper off of all their stuff, they have to get you access to everything, they have to move, they have to let their people know that there's a new process, a new person they're reporting to, a new person they're giving information to, they talk to this. Like, there's so many different moving parts that come from switching, right? So the more that they wait to kind of do this, or the longer that they are taking in this process, the more likely they will stay with you for a long time here because it's very painful for them to switch. Now, also what that means is there was a lot of pain to get them to switch, which makes it easy for you to get them when they're on the sales call to commit to work with you because you can just talk about the problems that they're facing right now and why, you know, even though it's taking so long for them to be able to make a decision, for them to move pieces around and to, you know, really get started, you know, it's talking about why it's important for them to do it, to go through all this pain and all this challenge of switching in order to do so, right? They'll start ranting about their current situation, okay? Next about cash, self-explanatory, money. Cool. Now, that's self-explanatory, I'm not gonna go into that, just collect some cash, okay? 
Rate, keep your value high. Keep value high. Don't accept less than your value. We'll talk about what this means in future videos. A lot of people don't really understand what that means, like less than your value. We'll talk about that in the future. I just want to stay focused here. So next is about referral. Okay, so rookies, well, be beginners, beginners stop here, right? Rookies and amateurs, we'll say amateurs, stop here, okay? Experts start, go through here, referral. 21, 42. Once I put like an infinity sign. Okay, referral calls. Okay, we're asking for referrals every 21 days. Referral calls. Okay, let's say 9 out of 10 salespeople. We'll say business owners. Never ask for a referral. They say nine out of 10 business owners never ask for referrals. Can you be asked for referrals every 21 days, 42, 64. Every 21 days, just go in and schedule a call to ask for referrals, right? Check in, see how they're doing, see if they're still happy with the investment they made, and then ask for referrals. Who do they know that's looking for some help? Who do they know that can use your service? Give me a name, give me a name, right? Because now we're adding back what do referrals do? Referrals add more to the pipe. They add to this number, so now we're continually finding new people and we're getting referrals in, and now we're able to scale our business a